Well, it's, it's my word against yours, isn't it, babe? I've got the injuries to prove what I'm saying. Everyone knows you in true or fighting. Now all I've got to do is say I tried to pick you up on the side of the road and Drew got jealous and ran me over. He wouldn't. Why? This thing, acting like this is going to make me love you? Threatening me and forcing me to feel something isn't going to work. Now you feel something, Belle. If Drew hadn't come in when you did, who knows what would have happened. We were having a great time in there. It's not true. We, we had a deal, remember? You were going to let me go because I didn't want to be there. But you do care about me. Yeah, you know, I don't care about you. Not the way you want me to, and I never will. Then I don't see what should stop me going to the police. No, you wouldn't. Okay, I have your sex results. Now, the ultrasound shows that you have a hematoma on your kidney and it's most likely pressing against one of your major arteries. It's not good, is it? No, it's not. You booked in for a renal CT scan and that should show us the size and extent of it. That's pretty serious. Yeah. You might need an operation and it's important that you know that you may lose a kidney. This is going to be all right, though. As I said last night, this isn't the type of injury that you get from a fall, and we can tell that it didn't happen two days ago. I'd like you to tell me what really happened. Shall I tell you? I was hit by a car. When? A couple of weeks ago. And why didn't you tell me this before? It was a hit and run. You don't record it? No, no, I didn't. You know, it was pretty dark. Couldn't see the number by turning. I thought I'd be all right, so I didn't go to the police. Why well, you should consider going to the police now. It's important whoever did that to you should be allowed to get away with it. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm going to organise a new scan and put me like that all with you later, okay? where you used to work, mate, but I run a clean ship here. Well, there's no argument here. After I cut my hand, I asked Bella if she could do them. She didn't seem to have a problem last night. Oh, well, I'll be giving her a swift kick up the backside. Oh, say this, I've got a million and one things to do this morning. The last thing I need is to be cleaning the last night's pots and pans. Leave them for me. I'll be five minutes. Oh, you're right. And get that finger of yours, Inspector. How is it anyway? That's fine. Rachel did a great job. Who's that for? There's a guy going through the bins down the beach. I thought I'd give him something to eat. Are you off your rocker? Does it look to you like we're running a soup kitchen? Well, the guy's down in his luck. He can take it out of my pay if you have a problem with it. Look, but the thing is, if you start feeding him out the back door, they'll come in the front door. If you really want to do him a favour, give him the number of the Yabby Creek Refuge. Well, I'll do that too, but the guy's hungry now, and I'm not going to let him starve when we've got food in the fridge we're about to chuck out. What do you want? See you later. And you know how Bell felt we had it locked in the boot of the car. You never did anything to hurt her. You didn't want your back. Because I'm sick. And Bell's the only one who cares about me. Yeah, you're sick, all right. You're sick in the head. Bell doesn't care about you. You mean nothing to her. You're wrong, mate. She does care about me. 
Maybe that's why you're so. I'm warning you, Bobby. I'm gonna kill you. What are you doing? You're playing nurse, are you? Get out of here! I don't believe you. Wait a sec, he's dropping. He's going in the shop. I'm just gonna take a look at his stomach. Yeah, he's guarding. What does that mean? He's kind of corrupted. Let's go. Stop eating the tablet. Stop eating the tablet. Stop eating the tablet.